Uh, good day, it's uh, Paul McNamara here. I'm just going to run through a few of the um, uh, medication calculation uh, questions that some people had trouble with. I just thought it might be easier to have it here online so you can come back and look at it in your own time. Uh, this one here, this scenario here, Angela has been taking 30 milligrams of diazepam daily for a short period of time so does not require a slow benzo tapering uh, regime. The psychiatrist recommends ceasing diazepam by reducing the dose by 5 milligrams every day starting today. Diazepam in stock is 2 milligrams and 5 milligrams. Obviously the 2 milligrams are no good to us. How many tablets will t Angela take each day until the medication has ceased? Set out your answer using this column headings. So let's make it easy on ourselves. So today she's coming down from 30 to 25 milligrams. Then 2 will be 20 milligrams. 3 will be 15. 4 will be 10. Day 5 will be 5 milligrams. And then on day 6 it will be ceased. Nil. And all we have to do is then just work out how many 5 milligram tablets that she needs. So it's that simple old um, what you want over what you've got. So we've got 25 milligrams over 5 milligrams. That will be 5 um, by 5 milligram tablets. And let's make it really clear for whoever's marking it that they know what size tablets you intend to uh, dish out. And um, yeah, and it's just a matter of making sure that what you write in the right hand common column um, adds up to equaling what's in the middle column. So that one should be a, a fairly quick and easy one for most people. I'd, I'd um, be surprised if, uh, if you had trouble with the maths, maybe um, misreading the question could be the problem. So that one's easy. Um, Bernie manages his symptoms of bipolar affective disorder by taking a combination of mood stabiliser and hypnotic medications. He has prescribed sodium vaporate 600 milligrams BD and temazepam 20 milligrams knock day. If stock is sodium vaporate 200 milligrams, so let's do this as we go. Sodium vap. So what we want is 600 milligrams BD. What we've got is 200 milligrams. So that's going to be um, 3 by 200 milligram sodium valve. Oops. Um, Mane and Nocte. First part of our answer. And then with the Temazepam, very simply, once again, what you want over what you've got equals 2 by 10 milligram Temazepam Nocte. And again, unless you misread the question, I think the maths there is fairly straightforward. Alrighty, moving on to number three. Kate is prescribed a benzodiazepine, a one milligram IMI, that's what we want, uh, to counteract the uh, EPS that she um, experienced after being administered haloperidol this morning. Stock available, what we, what we want stock is there, what we've got is two milligrams there by in two mil. So all we need to do there is get rid of the milligrams, cross them out, and get rid of the twos, cross them out, and there's our answer. One milliliter is the volume uh, required. Again, simple maths, just make sure you read the question. Denise was admitted to ICU for management of seizures and agitation in acute alcohol and benzo withdrawal. She's prescribed IV diazepam 20 milligrams stat. The drug is to be administered via burette containing 250 mils of normal saline. It's unusual to see that. Most burettes are only hold 100 mil, but never mind. And it'll be administered over 20 minutes. Uh, calculate the drops per minute if the IV has a drop factor of 20. Um, so I guess first things uh, first here for for this, let's just remind our, 
ourselves off the of the um, equation that we use um, when we're doing this sort of thing that we put the volume in mils over um, the time in minutes um, via the drop factor and that will give the answer will be uh, drops per minute so that's our formula hopefully that's kind of ingrained a little bit so let's get back and pull out the stuff we're going to um, that's a bit of a uh, one to watch out for there um, we're going to be giving 250 millilitres over 20 minutes and with a drop factor of 20. Again, simple maths when it does that for us, we just cross those ones out and so then it's 250 drops per minute. Really easy. Just a note on that, I've never actually seen uh, diazepam administered this way, apparently it can be, but more typically you would give small boluses with a couple of minutes a uh, couple of minutes in between so if if you needed to get a lot of um, diazepam on board quickly you might give them a bit of a loading dose five say 10 milligrams and then another two milligrams um, you know, uh, IV wait a couple of minutes make sure the respiratory rates okay and if they're still agitated then another two milligrams and keep doing that until you get to it that's what I've seen but um, anyway I was pretty keen to give you an IV fluid that uh, had a uh, psychotropic involved so uh, went out of my way to make that one up. It might happen all the time, but I, I, I just haven't come across it. Our next question is, Frank will uh, commence clozapine uh, today. Um, so the dose will be 25 milligrams. So day one, the dose will be 25 milligrams. Sweet. And it's to be increased in 25 milligrams each evening until a dose of 200 milligrams uh, knock day is reached. Stock available is uh, 25 and 100 milligram tablets. Write a dose for each day and a combination of tablets that you would give until you meet the required dose of 200 milligrams. Um, let's do the easy bit first, and we're just going to go up by 75, uh, 25 milligram uh, increments here, and we'll just chuck that in so, uh, so we don't get carried away when we go uh, to do the rest of it. Day 6 is 150 milligrams. Day 7... 170, 50 milligrams. This isn't unlike uh, the way that clozapine gets commenced. Uh, it'd be unlikely to see it um, as rigid as this, you know, just 25 milligrams each day. Often it might start a little bit slowly and, and be an accelerating dose. But anyway, so we've got 25 and 100 milligram tablets. And there's that principle that was in the um, lecture one about giving the least amount of whole tablets possible when you can. So you, so easy there for that day one we just give one by uh, 25 milligram tablets but here for day two we'd be silly to be uh, breaking a hundred milligram uh, tablet in half assuming that it's scored for two reasons. One, what do you do with the other half and two, uh, the, the half a scored tablet isn't going to be as precise a dose as, as two whole tablets and so let's, for those reasons, let's just do the sensible thing as you do in clinical practice. You'd give two 25 milligram tablets, and then three 25 milligram tablets to make it um, 75. And then the bit of patient education would go, have to go in here about why these tablets look different. This this tablet, even though it might be smaller, or, or you know sometimes they are, um, but you just, the, just want to make sure that your uh, consumer knows what you're up to there. So 100 milligrams there. Then we go one by 100 milligram plus one by 25 milligram, one by 100 plus two by 25 milligrams, one by 100 milligrams plus three by 25 milligrams. And here you just explain to Frank, Frank, even though you're only getting two tablets today, there are bigger dose tablets, so you're actually getting more of the clozapine today than you were yesterday. And you just want to be really clear that he understands that because, after all, it's about him and his medications and him, his body. So uh, hopefully that's uh, fairly straightforward. Hilda has a long history of bipolar affective disorder and who has relapsed into mania. Hilda's family reports that during previous relapses, carbamazepine 
400 milligrams TDS has been the most effective intervention at controlling symptoms. Uh, so this is what is prescribed. Uh, stock is 200 milligrams. Calculate how many tablets a day are required. So what we want is 400 milligrams TDS and what we've got is 200 milligrams there. So uh, um, so that would be uh, two tablets three times a day equals six tablets a day. Again, I don't think any of this maths is uh, going to freak too many people out, but maybe just getting through the, the question so you can pull out the content of what the question's asking um, is what's thrown a few people out. Next one is, uh, Juanita has not had a recurrence of depression that emerged during the perinatal period since being on sertraline, 150 milligrams Marne. Stock available is 100 milligrams and 50 milligrams. What combination of tablets would you give? Same deal as before. Um, you wouldn't go scoring, it wouldn't go breaking a 100 milligram tablet and have to give it away now, would you? You'd give one by 100 milligram tablet and one by 50 milligram tablet. And um, and just to make it really clear that the person um, picking up the uh, MedCalc test knows that you know what's going on, you could throw that in as well. I'd rather you gave too much information that are not that are not enough. Uh, this one here is uh, Patrick's IV infusion order is Hartman solution, 500 mils over 10 hours. Let's just quickly do a quick little count there. So 500 mils over 10 hours is going to be 50 mil an hour. And might as well get that sorted out right at the beginning because that makes it nice and easy. The bag has been hung at uh, 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock there was 500 Um, assuming that the infusion runs at the correct rate, of course, drips are never positional, are they? Um, what would you expect to see uh, remaining in the fluid bag at the following times? So we know that it's running at 50 mils an hour. We know there's 500 mils in there at 10 o'clock. So pretty simply, let's let's spell it out for ourselves and make it really easy. There's 450 mil at 11, at 12, there was 400, and we'll just keep doing that. Look, there, there's uh, mathematics that you could use rather than do this, but um, I reckon for those people who get nervous when they're in tests and things, um, make it really easy for yourself. Just spell it all out and, uh, and it only takes a moment uh, to do so. 200 mil. Nearly got all the information that we need, and look, I'm being over inclusive here, but um, yeah, if you're not confident with your maths, it, it's easier just to spell it all out for yourself. So I reckon um, that um, um, what we've got there is that right? So 50, 500 mils over 10 hours at 1200, we've got 400 mils left. And at 1800, we've got 100 mils left. Don't have to set out your answer like that, of course, but um, I think that makes it abundantly easy and, um, and clear if you do need to uh, go back and double check yourself. It should be fairly uh, easy to do. Uh, this one, Robert is an on, on a uh, involuntary order uh, ITA because of poor adherence to oral medication. He's now obligated under the uh, ITA to have a long-acting injection every two weeks. Robert's current antipsychotic medication is IMI Flupent Thixol 30 milligrams every fortnight and in stock is 40 milligrams by two mils. So back with that old formula that we used before. Um, it's what we want over what we've got and by the volume. Get rid of the milligrams there. Um, three, um, sorry, uh, we'll, we'll spell all of that out. Then we can get rid of the zeros too. That's a nice idea. Then we go three by two is six over four equals 1.5 millilitres. I hope I've made that clear. 
you can use a calculator if you're not confident, of course, with that and want to go and check yourself. But um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Stella has been admitted to the renal uh, unit for investigation and kidney function. Stella also experiences recurrent depression and is currently prescribed venlafaxine, 87.5 milligrams BD. Um, yeah, and, and not given morning and night, as, as it says there, Monday and midday. Stock is 25 milligrams, 37.5, 50 and 100. Um, what you want to do is use the least amount of whole tablets as you can. And um, I think um, if you just have a bit of a look there, you'll probably see that 37.5 and the 50 milligram tablets are the ones that you want. That's what I'd be picking. And I'd just make it... Um, abundantly clear for the person who's marking it that, that you know that that's what's required in um, both morning and night. So 1 by 50 milligram plus 1 by 37.5 milligram uh, tablet Mane and the same again 1 by 50 plus 1 by uh, 37.5 milligram tablet at uh, midday. I'm hoping this is all making sense. And then this is the last one, and, and a few people um, just tripped up on, on this one. I think got uh, thrown out by the decimals a bit. So let's try to uh, make it really easy next time around. That you just read the question. Don't, uh, yeah, don't don't get distracted by the, all the. Um, or the stuff that's not directly related to the calculation. Trevor has behavioural and psychological symptoms of dementia. He's obviously distressed, as is Trevor's family. A cautious short-term trial of low-dose antipsychotic medication will be commenced. And this is pretty much the way it works. You don't want to go in and, you know, kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer. You, you, you want to be gentle. Go, go low, go slow. Um, Risperidone 0.25 milligrams BD has been prescribed. Available stock is 0.5 <coughs> and 1 milligram tablets, excuse me. So it's what we want is 0.25 of a milligram. And the smallest tablet there we've got is a 0.5 of a milligram tablet. BD. Now if you're not confident with that maths, once, you've, once you get into fractions and things, it can become a little bit confusing. But we've got there what you want over what we've got. So let's just um, use our calculator for this and make it really, really simple. So it's 0.25 divided by 0.5. And what's that going to give us? V. <laughs> I did that twice. Can I, can I just try that again? 0.25 divided by 0.5 equals 0.5. And that's what. Um, that's why I pressed the button twice. I didn't notice it change. So the... the um, equals 0.5. What tablets should be good? So 0.5 of a tablet. So it's half a tablet. That's what we had to work out. And a lot of people got, to, well, no, not a whole heap, but enough people got stumped on that for it to be a bit of a worry. So let's uh, just spell that out. Half a tablet of 0.5 milligram um, risperidone. Um, Mane and Nocte and that's it so there we are so we've just got the whole exam done correctly now and um, and now we're relieved and we go off and celebrate cheers thanks for watching and uh, feel free to uh, follow me on social media if you want cheers